by now, you probably know the basics of variables, but now we're going to get into some more intermediate and advanced stuff throughout the next few videos. Hello everyone, Mozart here, and in this tutorial, we will be learning about how to compare different variables to each other, rather than just set values. And in the second half of this video, we will also be going over some of the more important other commands related to variables. If you watched my first video on variables, you know how to test for a variable's value with a command such as this one. If you did not watch that video, I highly recommend you to watch it now by clicking the I in the corner of the screen. And now, let's get straight into today's lesson. So in the last video, we learned how to use the execute command to test if a score is equal to a specific value by using matches. But you may have noticed that there are five other functions that can be used in the place of matches. Equals looks like it would do the same thing, but when we go further, we realize that it's actually doing different things. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be making three new objectives, or three new variables, and we are going to call them yellow, magenta, and cyan. Further in the recording, I realize I'm going to need even more, so I'm going to be adding red, green, and blue. So first, I'm going to set some initial values for each of these variables to use as examples. I'm going to set red to 5, I'm going to set yellow also to 5, I'm going to set green to 7, I'm going to set cyan to 64, I'm going to set blue to 11, and I'm going to set magenta to 0. And throughout the video, I'll also be displaying the numbers for each of these videos on the top of the screen. Now the first test we're going to go over, which is probably going to be the simplest, will be the equal sign. So we're going to test if red is equal to yellow. And remember, the, each player gets their own variable, so include at p or whatever the player is. For example, Mozart Minecraft. I will note that all players and all entities will not work for this. So red and yellow are both 5. So if I run this, it'll say test passed. And then you can add run, and then whatever your command is, let's say summon mm, sheep with a color of 6, now we have a pink sheep. Now if we set red equal to cyan, 5 does not equal 64, so test will fail. And if we try to summon the sheep with this command, no sheep will spawn. So that was pretty simple, that is the equal sign, and also if you want to test if it's not equal to, you can use unless instead of if. In this case, it'll say test failed, but if I say cyan, it'll say test passed. Now we're going to look at this one, the less than sign. And the first test is going to be, is red less than cyan? 5 is less than 64, so I forgot. This should say if. Yes, 5 is less than 64, so the test will pass. If we set this to magenta instead, 5 is not less than 0, so the test will fail. And if I set this to yellow, because red is equal to yellow, it'll say test fail. This is less than or equal to, the only difference is it will work if they are equal, and since 5 is equal to 5, 5 is less than or equal to 5, so it'll pass for red is less than or equal to yellow. The rest are pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to go over them anyway. Let's go over greater than. So 5 is greater than 0, so if I type red is greater than magenta, the test will pass. Greater than does not mean equal, so yellow will fail. If instead I put green, 5 is not less than 7, so again the test will fail. And finally, greater than or equal to. 5 is not greater than or equal to 7, however, 5 is greater than or equal to. And I know I've been using red the whole time, so I'm going to do cyan is greater than or equal to magenta. Now 64 is greater than or equal to 0, so this will pass. And now, I'm going to go over a few more commands which are important to know in storyboard objectives. So we went over what add does in the last video. If you do remove instead, this will remove a variable. So if I decide to remove the variable blue, it'll remove objective blue, and any data that was in blue will be deleted. We will now go over list. If I type this, there's no other things I can type. It'll just list all the objectives, which are red, magenta, green, yellow, the test variable from last video, and cyan. Note that blue is not there because I deleted it. And set display, we briefly went over this for showing on the on the right here. So we'll go over that again if I type sidebar cyan. Now cyan shows up on the right. But you may also be wondering, what is all of this? So for below name, if I do below name green, then 
Green will show up below name. If I go into F5, of course I can't see it because I'm in single player. But with a little bit of video editing, I'll show you what this will do. When you look at another player, it'll say the player name, their name tag, and then it'll say below it the value for green. Note that this will only be visible to other players if you are not sneaking and you are within 10 blocks of the other player. And then list right here, if we decide to put magenta in the set display for list, and I press tab, now the value for magenta, which is zero, shows up on the top. If I change this to, let's say, red, now 5 shows up because red is 5. Now one more thing I would like to point out is if you want to remove the displays, just type in list and then don't put anything, or type in below name and don't put anything, or type in sidebar, watch the right, the cyan will disappear. In short, this is the same command, but you are not giving the command an objective. You may have also noticed sidebar.team.color, this I will go over in a different video. For now, I'm going to move on to modify. So after saying modify, you will get your variables, for example, green, and then display name and render type. So if I do display name, and I want to set green to bright green, I can do that. And now if I do storeboard objectives list, it'll now show green as bright green. And now I have actually set some displays back. The sidebar is equal to red, the list is equal to yellow. And now I'll show you what render type does. So if I set this to red and then render type, there are hearts and integer. It is integer by default, but if you set it to hearts for the sidebar, nothing changes. It still displays as an integer. But if I were to do this to green, which is on the top, you can see now that it displays as a health bar. Note that the amount of hearts that can be displayed is limited. And so for values that are 44 or higher, it will instead display the number of hearts as a number. And when I modify yellow, which is below name, it will, what it's supposed to do is have the hearts show up underneath your name tag. However, this is not visible in single player, so I cannot display it here. And there you have it. Now you know how to compare variables to each other rather than fixed values as well as some other commands which will be useful for working with variables in the future. If you want to go to the next episode, click on the video in the top right. If you want to go to another episode in this series, check the description. They're all there, and I will see you the next time you decide to watch a Mozart video. And until next time, this is Mozart Minecraft saying goodbye, Obsidian Vault Game.